uh, in preparation for retraction, the clamp arms around the second stage will open, and then that truss structure next to, next to the vehicle, known as the strongback, will start to retract away from the Falcon Heavy. You can see those clamp arms starting to open up underneath of the fairing on the second stage there. After this, the strongback will retract away from the vehicle, and this is to clear the way for ascent. Strongback is used to provide structural support as well as routing for fluids. NY booster lock load complete. As well as routing for fluids and power to the vehicle. PY booster lock load complete. We just heard locks loading finished up on the PY booster. Next up at around T minus two minutes, locks loading will complete on the second stage. After locks loading finishes loading onto the second stage, the entire vehicle will be completely full with 2.8 million pounds of propellant. Center core locks load is complete. Just hearing the various boosters finish up their locks loading. Looks like quite a nice day down there in Cape Canaveral. Weather is much more cooperative for this attempt today. Now again, in just about 15 seconds, we will be completing locks loading on the second stage which will wrap up the propellant loading phase of our countdown. Second stage locks load is complete. And there it is, Falcon Heavy is now fully loaded with 2.8 million pounds of propellant. Coming up next, we should see some white clouds venting from the TE locks line. This is completely normal and part of our closeout process. Following this, the vehicle will enter startup at T minus one minute. This is when the onboard flight computers take control of the countdown. And shortly after the vehicle enters the startup phase, our Back LD, our LD or launch director should give the final go for launch. Let's listen in for those call-outs. Falcon Heavy is in startup. There we go. Falcon Heavy has just entered the startup phase. Go for launch. And with confirmation of go for launch from our launch director, Falcon Heavy is ready to go to space at T minus 37 seconds with the Viasat 3 mission. seconds into flight under the power of five million pounds of thrust. Falcon Heavy is headed to space. 
Now we are throttling down our engines on those side boosters and that's in preparation for max Q. Power and telemetry nominal. Max Q is the moment of peak mechanical stress. Stop heavy is supersonic. Peak mechanical stress on the vehicle. So we do slow down the vehicle to get through this period of high stress. And once we pass through Max Q, we will throttle those engines back up on those side boosters. Max Q. And great call out, we have passed through Max Q. So we're gonna throttle up those engines again on these side boosters. You can follow along the telemetry on your left hand, on the bottom left hand of your screen. You can see the speed and the altitude of the vehicle and some incredible views of Falcon Heavy in flight. Now, two minutes into flight, we will reduce the thrust on the two side boosters again, and that will be to decrease the forces on the vehicle structure. And that's because the vehicle is now lighter as we're burning through the fuel on the vehicle, uh, but the thrust will remain constant. And wow, that looks amazing on the screen, all three boosters burning bright there. Falcon Heavy is following a nominal trajectory. And good call out on trajectory. Now again, we're gonna throttle down the side boosters and then the next event coming up in about a minute or just under a minute will be BECO, that's booster engine cutoff. That's where we will shut down the engines on the side boosters and then we will separate the side boosters from the center core. And as a reminder, we are not landing our side boosters or center core today due to performance needed on today's mission. And you can see on your right hand screen, we do have a view of the separation mechanisms from the center core to the side boosters. And BECO, or booster engine cutoff, is coming up here in a few seconds. MVAC engine chill has started. Booster engine cutoff. Side booster separation confirmed. Both side boosters, FTS is safe. Great views there. We had Beco booster engine cutoff, and we watched as those side boosters, and you could see them there on your screen, those side boosters falling Vehicle away. Is following a nominal trajectory. Falling away from Falcon Heavy's center core. Awesome views. That's gonna wrap it up for the side boosters today. The next event coming up here in about 30 seconds or so is main engine cutoff that is also called MECO, and that will be on the center core, followed by stage separation and then the startup of our second stage engine. Main engine cut off. Stage separation confirmed. Stage one FTS has saved. MVAC ignition. Acquisition signal, Bermuda. And we got some great views. We watched Miko as the engines on the center core shut down, stage separation, and now you can see on your screen that the MVAC engine has ignited. Now we are coming up on fairing separation. Fairing separation confirmed. And also we're able to see and hear the call out that- Stage two is following a nominal trajectory. That the fairing halves have separated. They are now falling back down to earth and we will attempt to recover them using our recovery vessel, Doug. And what you're looking at on your screen is a view on our second stage looking aft at our MVAC engine. And our MVAC engine on the second stage is currently in the middle of its first burn. This burn has about a minute and a half left. 
After that, we'll have an additional two burns of our second stage engine before payload deployment. On your left-hand screen, you could see a map of the mission trajectory. And on your right-hand screen is a live view of the MVAC engine. As a reminder, our main payload for today's... Page two continues to follow a nominal trajectory. Good call-outs. Our main payload for today's mission is Viasat-3, and we do have two secondary payloads on board as well from Gravity and Astronus. That is the Gravity Space 1 and Astronus's MicroGeo satellite. You're just now joining us. We're currently in the middle of the first of three burns for this MVAC engine today. The next event coming up is in just under a minute and 15 seconds. We will have SECO-1, or what we call second engine cutoff one. And that will end the first of those three burns. Today's mission marks SpaceX's 28th launch this year, 227th overall mission to date, and our fifth operational Falcon Heavy mission. Stage two, FTS has saved. Now on your right-hand screen, you can see the MVAC engine. Stage two has entered terminal guidance. And we're getting good, good call-outs there. On the bottom right-hand of your screen, you can see the speed of the second stage as well as the altitude. And we are about 20 seconds or so from SECO-1. That's where we will shut down this MVAC engine and allow the vehicle to coast with the payloads on board. Expected loss of signal, Cape. And you could see that MVAC engine beginning to shut down. We did hear a call out for expected loss of signal. Nominal parking orbit. And we got confirmation of good orbit. So with confirmation of second engine cutoff and a good orbit, we'll be heading into a coast phase until our second relight of our MVAC engine around the T plus 30 minute mark. We'll come back to bring you live coverage of that second burn in about 20 minutes. So until then, sit back and enjoy the space tunes. As you can see on your screen, we did just start up the second engine for the second burn. The purpose of this burn is to take us from a parking orbit in low Earth orbit and extend our apogee or peak of the orbit to an altitude of about 30,000 kilometers. The next burn after this, the third burn, will take the lower side of that orbit, orbit and also extend it out to about 30,000 kilometers. And that will put us in a geostationary orbit. There you can see on your screen, we have ignition of our MVAC engine. That is called SES-3, or Second Stage Engine Start-3. This burn will last just about a minute long.
And what you're seeing on your screen is a view from our second stage looking aft at the MVAC engine. It's glowing pretty bright there. The payloads are still attached to Falcon 9. So once this burn is complete, the vehicle will coast for just a bit, and then we can begin our deployments of our payloads. Via set three, separation confirmed. So we should be able to see the payload deploy here shortly. Gravity space, separation confirmed. And there it was. You just saw the gravity space one spacecraft drift away from Falcon 9's second stage. So next up will be the final milestone of today's mission, the deployment of Astronus's first micro-geo satellite, which is scheduled for the T plus four hour and 46 minute mark. We'll see you back here in about six minutes. Astronus separation confirmed. And there you saw and heard confirmation of successful deployment of the micro-geo payload from our second stage. With confirmation of successful deployment of our last payload on board the second stage, that will wrap up our coverage for the Viasat 3 America's mission. We'd like to thank Viasat for entrusting us with today's mission. We'd also like to thank the range and the FAA for licensing today's launch. And of course, we'd like to thank all of our viewers for tuning in. If you're interested in more launch content, head over to our website and social media platforms for updates on our next missions and milestones. Hope you all enjoy the week and we will see you soon.